Hey there, Angry Faithful. I just wanted to drop in, bend your ear a little bit, get your attention. So if you're not listening, drop what you're doing and pay attention to me. Because I'm here to inform you that not only can you get your daily, maybe if you're binging it, I'm not sure, that's entirely up to you, but you can multiply your doses of angry me fuckery by paying attention to all of the platforms upon which you can find either the dulcet tones of my voice and David's voice or my pretty face and David's not-so-pretty face. Anyways, digressing. We, not only on we are on YouTube, we are on Spotify, we're on Rumble, we're on Google, Apple Podcast. We have a TikTok page. We're on Twitter, Instagram, and of course, Facebook. So if you find yourself fuckery deprived, curl up with a nice hot mug of shut the fuck up and just listen, open those ear holes and be prepared to be cream pied like it's the first time. Thanks for listening. Welcome, Angry Faithful. Today on Psychos and Sociopaths, we're going to go over part two uh, by the Nanjing Massacre. And uh, Johnny isn't with us. He's had some uh, family problems. He was going to be with us today, but life happens. Uh, so give Johnny our best wishes and prayers and everything. It's nothing that big. It's uh, something he has to do. But we are going to get back onto the show. Uh, now, what we're going to go over right now are the war crimes and tribunals. Uh, shortly after the uh, surrender of Japan, the prime, uh, primary officer in charge of uh, Japanese troops in Nanjing uh, were put on trial. General Matsu, Matsui uh, was indicated before the uh, International uh, Military Tribunal for uh, Far East for deliberation and recklessness. Deliberties? Oh, man, I am so sorry. Getting, going hot and then going soft. Deliberately. Deliberately and recklessly ignoring the legal duty to take acquitted... Uh, mm, mm, word's not good for me right now. That's the reason why I'm drinking a shit ton of coffee. <sighs> Oh, let's see here. Adequate. Adequate, adequate steps. I, I, I knew that word, but I just couldn't do it. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, adequate steps to secure the, uh, the observed and prevent br- uh, breaches of, uh, of the Hugh Convention. Hassan Tan, uh, the Lieutenant General of the 6th Division of Imperial Japanese Army in Nanjing. And by the way, if I butcher these things, you can comment on that and tell me how much of a horrible person we're not getting like super. I, these words and names I am not a proficient with. I can get Russian names. I can get French names. I can get, but Asian names I really can't do. I can do Middle Eastern names pretty easy. Uh, Asian names I really can't. But uh other military, uh, other Japanese military leaders in charge at the time of the Nanjing massacre were not tried. Prince Kangying, who we we were gonna do the speaking spell on this one because yeah, Kanin Kodohito, Kanin Kodohito, a chief of staff of the Imperial Japanese Army during the massacre, had died before the end of the world war. In May 1945, Prince Aseka, is it Ahsoka? Aseka? Asaka. Asaka was granted immunity because he uh, his status of a member of the imperial family. Oh, you piece of shit! I'm sorry. He's a piece of shit. He took it. Uh, he fucked. Uh, God damn. It. I hate people that are in power and everything. They get uh, immunity over stuff they shouldn't, like that whole fucking Jeffrey Epstein. We we need the damn fucking black books and shit. 
uh, was granted immunity because of his superior status. And the aide to the prince, Isumu Izamu Cho. Izamu Cho, the aide to the prince of Saka, and whom uh, some historical believed issued the kill all captives memo had committed suicide during the battle of okinawa oh you cheap pussy i did terrible things i'm gonna have to kill myself well actually in their cult yeah i totally forgot about that in their culture uh surrender and everything like that they do what what is it called hold on i have to use my uh I have to use my phone because uh, uh I think it's called Harry Carey. Sorry, folks. I am really. Set Puka. Puka. Ah, uh, anyways, set Puka. Uh, it's, it's, I can read you the thing right there. Uh, sometimes referred to as Harry Curry. I knew that. Aha. Uh-huh. It's a form of Japanese original suicide by disbowelment. Is uh, oh, wow. But anyways, it's ritualistic, and it is basically one of those things that if they dishonor their superiors, that's how they get their honor back. Okay. Uh, On May 1st, 1946, Scalp, a uh, Supreme Commander for the Allied Powers, was the the title of uh, held by uh, General General Douglas MacArthur during the United States lead uh, Allied application to Japan. Officials interrogated Prince Osaka. I'm probably butchering that even name. Osaka, Osaki. I'm pushing it again. Osaka. Yeah, Osaka. I'm probably pushing it because of my Texas language. Uh, <laughs> uh, my Texas accent sometimes so it just goes on through. Uh, who was the ranking officer in the city at the height of the uh, atrocities about his involvement in the Nanjing massacre? The disposition was submitted to the International Prosecution Section of Tokyo Tribunal. Asaka uh, denied the existence of any uh, massacre and claimed never to have received uh, complaints about any uh, uh, about the conduct of the troops. The prosecutors began the uh, Neijing phase of its case in July. 1946, Robert O. Wilson, a surgeon and member of the National Committee for uh, Nanking Safety Zone, Nanjing Safety Zone, took the witness stamp first. Uh, other pieces of absence were submitted by uh, to the tribunal was Harold Trempoli's telegram regarding the Nanjing massacre, which had been intercepted and decoded by the Americans on January 17th, 1938. One of the books by... Shu. Shu. It's H-S-U. I messed that up completely in my head. Shu documented that uh, Nanjing safety zone 
was also adducted into uh, adducted into court. The entry for the same day and Mets Matsui Masui Masui uh, diary read. I can only feel sadness and responsibility today, which uh, has been overwhelmingly piercing my heart. This is caused by the Army's misbehavior after the fall of Nanjing and failure to process with the anonymous government and the political plans. God. Matt Sue's asserted that he had never ordered the execution of uh, Chinese POWs. He further argued that he had directly. Let's bring this up bigger. He further argued that he had directly uh, directed his army's divisions commanders to discipline in their troops for criminal acts, and was responsible for their failure to carry out his directives. At trial, Matsui went out of his way to protect uh, Prince Ahsoka. Uh, uh, well, anyways, the prince, by shifting blame to lower-ranked Avenger commanders. Koki Hirona. Koki Hirona, who had been, uh, been the foreign minister when Japan conquered Nanjing, was convicted of practicing in the formation or execution of a com- uh, common plan or conspiracy. Court one waged a war of aggression and a war in violation of international laws, treaties, agreements, and associations. Associate, 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 oh, man, my dyslexia is kicking high gear right now. I'm sorry, folks. Assurances. Assur- uh, assurances uh, against the Republic of China, uh, Count 27 and Count 55. Matsui was convicted uh, by a majority of the judges at the Tokyo Tribunal who ruled that he bore ultimate, uh, ultimate responsibility for the orgy of crimes uh, at Nanjing because he did nothing and nothing effective to liberate these horrors uh organized and wholesale murder f- uh, of male citizen, uh, citizens was conducted with the apparent uh, sanction of the commanders on the pretext that japanese soldiers had removed their uniforms or were mingling in the population groups of chinese civilians were formed bo- uh, bond with their hands behind their back and marched outside of the walls of the city where they were killed in groups by machine gun fire and bayonets from judgment of international military tribunal. So they basically, basically what they ended up doing is any male in in uniform or not was marched out of the city and everybody was shot because in, in their defense, they couldn't figure out who were the, uh, who who was the Chinese army and who was the Chinese army. Uh, but uh, the sentencing on this on November 12th, 1948, Matsui and Horatoa. Horatoa. I bet that was right. Horatoa. I'm sorry, folks. Hi, Rona. Hi, Rona. Along with five other the convicted CA war criminals were sentenced to death by hanging. Eighteen others received uh, lesser sentences. The death sentence imposed by Hirotoa, <clears throat> sorry, a six to five decision by the eleven judges shocked the general public and prompted a petition on his behalf, which soon gathered over three hundred thousand signatures, but did not succeed in. Uh, commuting uh, the minister's sentences. All of them were hanged on December 23rd, 1948. General Tan, Tanning, was sentenced to death by Nanjing, uh, 
Nanjing uh, War Cr uh, Crimes Tribunal and was executed in, in China on 26th of April, 1947. According to, uh, however, according to the historians, Taroko, oh God. Takushi Kasahara. Takushi Ta uh, Kasahara. The evidence used to convince uh, Tanine was not convincing. Katsuhara said that if there was uh, a full investigation of the massacre, many uh, other high-ranking high -ranking authorities, which included high-ranking level commanders, army leaders, and imperial, and the Emperor Hayatota. Oh, man, I know that name, and I just fucked it up. Oh, come on. Hirohito. Hirohito. Um, and then I lost my spot. There we go. Uh, no, I really lost my spot. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, all right. There we go. However, da -da 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 -da. Could have been uh, implicated. Hirohito could have been uh, implicated in the crimes of the Nanjing Massacre. In 1985, the Nanjing Massacre Memorial Hall was built by Nanjing multiple governments. A synth sensible government. In remembrance of the victims and to raise awareness of the J Nanjing Massacre, is located near a site where thousands of bodies were buried, called a pit of 10,000 corpses. Oh, I want to know the Chinese word for that. Wan Ran Kang. Wan Ran Kang. As of December, uh, December 2016, there are a total of 10,615 uh, Nanjing massacre victims' names inscribed on the memorial wall. In 1995, Daniel Kwan held a photo exhibit in Los Angeles time in the Forgotten Holocaust. In 2005, John Rabe, oh man, I, I butchered his name last time. I'm butchering his name this time. Rabe. Rabe, okay. Form of resistance in Nanjing was, uh, you know, motivated. Renovated. Renovated and now accompanies the John Rabe's Inter uh, International Safety Zone Memorial Hall, which opened in 2006. On December 13, 2009, both Chinese and Japanese monks held a religious ceremony to mourn Chinese citizens killed by the invading Japanese troops. On December 13th, 2014, China, uh, China held its first Nanjing Massacre Memorial Day. On October 9th, 2015, documents of the Nanjing Massacre have been listed as you. Uh, United Nations Educational Scientific, uh, Scientific and Cultured Organization, or UNESCO, memo Memory of the World Registry. Controversy on this. Cold War before 19... Uh, China and Japan uh, have both acknowledged the occurrence of war con uh, wartime atrocities. Despite over the historical portrayal of these events continue to cause tension between Japan and on one side and Ch uh, China and the other Eastern Asian countries on the other side. Before 1970, China did. Uh... Oh, God, relive the day. Relatively. China did relatively little to draw attention to the Nanjing Massacre. In her book, Rape, uh, Rape of Nanjing, uh, Icarus Chang asserted that the po uh, policies of the Cold War, War encouraged Chairman Mo Mayo to stay relatively silent about the Nanjing in, or uh, in order to keep the uh, trade relationship with Japan. 
Zhang Chang and John Hollinen, uh, Barrio uh, Mayo, Clans Mayo uh, never made any commitment either contemporarily less. That's how it pronounced. Contemporaneously. Com- yeah, I got it right. Contemporaneously or later in his life about the massacre, but did frankly remark with enduring bitterness about the pol- uh, political struggle between himself and Wang Ming, which also occurred in December 1930, uh, 1937. Mm. The, the debate concerning the massacre took place mainly in 1970s. During this time, the Chinese government statement about the uh, event were attacked by the Chinese because they were uh, they were said to uh, re- rely too heavily on ter- uh, personal testimonies and astrology evidence. Aspersions. Aspersions were cast regarding uh, regarding the atrocities and accuracy of the brutal uh, records and for to- uh, to fo- that. Mm. Photography, uh, photographer's uh, presence in Tokyo War Crimes Court, which the Japanese government claimed were fabricated by the Chinese government, artificially manipulating incorrectly a tribute to the Nanjing massacre. During the 1970s, Katsuichi Katsuichi Honda. Katsui Honda wrote a series of articles for Asahi Shimbun. Asahi Shimbun on the war crimes committed by the uh, Japanese soldier during World War II, such as the Nanjing Massacre. The publication of these articles triggered a vehement response by Japanese right-wingers Regarding the dra- uh, Japanese treatment of war crimes, in response, Shinento Yamato and Akara Suzaki wrote two conversational yet influential articles, which spoke the Japanese, Japanese national movement in 1984, in an attempt to ref- uh, refute the allegations of war crimes in Nanjing. The Japanese Army Veterans Association. Aaron viewed former Japanese soldiers who had served in the Nanjing area from 1937 to 1938. Instead of refilling the allegations, the interview veteran confirmed that the, a massacre had taken place and openly described and admitted to taking part in the atrocities. The result of this, uh, the severity were published in the association manual Kyoto in 1985 along the administration and apologized that uh, read however this uh, severity of war or special uh, special service advances of war psychology we just lost words faced with the mass illegal ki- uh, killing as those who are related to the pre-war military we simply apologize deeply to the people of china it was truly a regrettable act of barbarity. Uh, now, on August 15, 1995, the 50th, 50th anniversary of surrender of Japan, the Japanese Prime Minister Tomiichi Muriyama. Tomi Miri Miriami. Miriyama. Uh Tommy Moriyama. Uh gave the first formal apologies from uh for Japan's action during the war. He offered his apologies to all uh, survivors and to the relatives and friends of the victims. That day, the prime minister and in Japan, uh, the Japanese area uh, emperor, Hikari 
Akihito. Akihito pronounced statements of mourning at to- uh, Tokyo's. Wow. Come on, guys. Stop using Asian words. Just use something that I can actually talk about. There we go. Nippon Bunikan. Nippon Kubukan. Iris Chang, author of The Raping of Nigeria. Uh, Nijing criticized uh, Marayamo for not providing the written apology that had been expected. She said that the people of China do not believe that an unequivocal and sincere apology has ever been made by Japan to China and that a written apology from Japan would send a, uh, a better message to the international community. If you apologize, apologize for nothing. Some people want it in writing. I know it's kind of like really uh, sad for me to say that, but that's how I feel sometimes on certain, uh, I guess I'm a different breed. A faction of Japanese uh, politicians were... Uh, who were unapologetic to the deaths in Nanjing have triggered a recording port in tension in uh, Sino Japanese relations. In May 1994, Justice Minister Nagano called the Nanjing Master a fabrication. Oh, wow. Man, we got people here that says the Holocaust was not real. Which is stupid. Holocaust is real. On February 20th, 2012, uh, Karamara, mayor of Naurgaya, told a vis- uh, visiting delegation from Nanjing that the massacre probably never happened. Two days later, he defended his remarks, saying, Ever since I was a national diet res- a rep- representative, I have said repeatedly that there is no Nanjing massacre that resulted in murders of several hundred thousand of people. Gee. On February 24, 2012, Tokyo Governor Man, there's a lot of deniers on this. Shintaro Ishihara. Shinto Hirohara denies the Nishin massacre. He alleged it would have been impossible to kill so many people in such a short period of time. It was six weeks. He alleges a death toll of 10,000. Technically, the United States did two massacres in two days, so we dropped two bombs. Not hating Japan, I'm just saying we did that. On February 3rd, 1924, uh, uh, yeah, February 3rd, 2014, Nakiri Haritaka, a member of the Board of Governors of Japan Publicly Broadcast Company, NHK, which stands for Japanese brought NHK is it's Japanese for Japanese whenever uh, was quoted as saying the massacre never occurred. He said that there was isolated incidents of brutality, but n- no widespread atrocities and criticized the Tokyo trials figures of 200,000. Good Lord. Now there, there is Holocaust. Uh, deniers for the Jewish Holocaust or the uh, Nazi Holocaust that the Nazis caused and everything like that. And uh, a bunch of other things, people do not, there's fucking stupid ass people that deny uh, that the earth is round. Now saying that there To be in a political office to deny that stuff, you shouldn't even be in political office. 
because of the basic fact of you are basically saying that you deny history. Denying history, you're more or less going to repeat it. And I hope to God we don't repeat such atrocities that happened in World War II. World War, uh, any kind of the war wars, any kind of war, really. But uh, the memory, now the legacy of this, the memory of the Nanjing Massacre was, has been pointed to connect in Shono Japanese relations in, in sincerity. I just go over that. No, no, I went over it, but okay. Anyways, uh, Yoroshada asserted that uh, Nanjing has figured in the attempt of three uh, of all three nations, China, Japan, and the United States, to preserve and refine na uh, national and ethnic pride and identity, assuming different kinds of syndication based on each country's change in her, uh, internal and, and external enemies. Japan, on this, followed uh, following on on Japan on this, following the end of World War II, some circles of civil uh, society in Japan re uh, reflected on the uh, Extents of the massacre and the partition, uh, partition, partition, mm. partition. Oh God, fuck! My dyslexia is just getting up in there and just causing all kinds of foolery. Participation, participation of ordinary soldiers, notably the novelist Hada Yarishi wrote a novel, Time, in 1953, portraying the massacre from the point of view of the Chinese intellectual wa uh, watching it happen. This novel has been translated into Chinese and Russian. Other uh, eyewitnesses to the massacre also expressed their opinion in uh, Japanese magazines in 1950 and 1960s, but pol uh, political shifts shortly eroded the tide of the conventions. In two, uh, 21, uh, 21st century Japan, the Nanjing uh, massacre touches upon uh, national identity and the notion of pride, honor, and shame. Another word I can't pronounce because it's in a different... Yoshida. Yoshida argues that uh, Nanjing crystallizes a much larger conflict over what uh, should... Cons constitute the ideal uh, per, uh, perception of the of the nation japan as a nation acknowledges its past and acknowledge and apologize for its war uh, wartime wrongdoings or stands firm against foreign pleasure uh, pressures and teaches uh, japanese youth about the benevolence and courageous wars who fought just uh, fought a just war to save Asia from Western aggression. Recognizing the Nanjing massacre as such can be viewed in some circles in Japan as Japan bashing in the case of foreigners or self flagellation. Am I saying that right? Flagellation? Flagellation. Yeah, flagellation in the case of Japan. The government of Japan believes it cannot deny that the killings of a large uh, number of non-combatants, looting, and other acts by Japanese armies occurred. However, the actual numbers of the victims is hard to determine, according to the government of Japan. In the 2010 Japan-China uh, Joint Historical Research Committee meeting, scholars from Japan cite Set a maximum possibility in numbers of the civilian victims of 200,000, which estimated of around 40 to 20,000. The Japanese scholars of the committee maintained that the least, at least 300,000 were killed. The range of the death uh, told estimated by Japan historians is from tens of thousands and uh, 200,000. Oh, man. 
basically what they're saying is, yeah, it happened, but y'all's numbers are wrong, which without any, any of the documentations that we had from that uh, incident, even with the, the little bit of historical facts and everything that we have on, on hand right now, we really can't determine an actual fact because Japan decided to wipe everything off. But in China's view, uh, the Nanjing Masters have emerged as one fundamental keystone in the construction of modern Chinese national identity. Modern China, uh, including most citizens of the PRC, partly in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and overseas, who will refer to the Nanjing Massacre to explain certain stance they hold and ideas they have. Uh, this national unif- unifying event holds true to middle school education peasants, to the se- senior government officials alike. The remembrance of the massacre has evolved uh, drastically in China. Until 1982, mentioning the massacre was suppressed to China because ideologically the co- communists would rather promote the martyrs martyrs of class struggles when then wartime victims especially when there were no communist heroes or communists in all uh, in Beijing when the massacre happened oh my god that's the reason why we can't fuck oh god okay This is the reason why I have uh, problems with uh, government officials hiding documents, even in, in what we're doing today. Uh, and you talk about it yourself. I won't elaborate any more on certain stuff. What they ended up doing is because there is no uh, heroes or someone to idolize in this whole massacre, except for the actual people that fucking helped as much as they possibly could during this massacre, which were foreigners, I guess. That's what they didn't like. They decided, oh, we're going to suppress it for a while until 1982. A uh, good 40, well, 40, yeah, well, we'll just call it 40 years. They suppressed it for 40 years because, you know, even our country fucking suppresses fucking shit. I, I'm actually going to go over the Black Friday, the uh, Tulsa riots next week. So there's that. Uh, that was suppressed so much that I didn't even realize it fucking happened until like uh, the Watchmen TV series on HBO Max. It's the first time I actually heard of those fucking riots. And I went back and did a little bit of research and how much atrocity fucking people do fucking assholes yes i'm calling most humans assholes but uh the patriotic uh education uh campaign mask was uh, became a national memory as an episode of century of humiliation prior to the communist uh founding of the new china this un, uh, unorthodox victimhood narrative has been become and winding. Sorry, with the Chinese national identity is, uh, and is very sensitive to the revisionation. Visionation, revisionation. Yeah, statements. Revisionists. Uh, revisionist. Uh, statements of far right in Japan, which makes the memory of the massacre a recurring point of tension in the Sin- Sin- Sino-Japanese relations after 1982. Uh, of, I don't know why Australia is on this one, but the dock workers in Australia were horrified by the massacre and refused to load pig irons onto ships pig iron onto ships heading for Japan leading to Del Frame dispute in 1938 
which was a political industry dispute at Port Kimbala, New South Wales, protesting the export of pig iron. What is pig iron? Pig iron from Australia to Japan during the Second Shinto Japanese War and became famous uh, for providing the nickname pig iron, Bob. Okay. I'm curious what what is pig iron right now. Sorry, if, uh, <clears throat> if anybody listens to this and uh, on a constant basis knows that when I find something I'm actually interested in learning, I go after it like an arrow at a freaking uh, target. There we go. Crude iron that is directly produced uh, produce of the blast furnace is refined to produce steel. Okay, wrought iron or iron. Oil. Okay, it's just they just gave a fancy name to a uh, raw iron meant for steel. Okay. Hmm. Now records on this in December uh, two thousand seven, the PRC government, the People's Republic of China. Uh, government uh, pub <clears throat> published the names of 13,000 people who were killed by Japanese troops in the Nanjing Massacre. According to the Zhen Hong News Agency, it was most complete records to date. See, this is the reason why we don't have that much records on this. Uh, uh, the report consisted of eight, uh, eight volumes of uh and was released to mark the 75th uh, anniversary of the start of the massacre. It's also listed uh, the J- uh, Japanese army units that were responsible for each death and states the uh, the way in which the victims were killed. Zhang Zhonun, editor-in-chief of the report, stated that the information collected was based on the combination of Ch- uh, Chinese, J- uh, Japanese, and Western raw materials uh, material which is objective and just and is able to stand the trial of history this report formed part of a 55 volume series about the massacre the collections of historical um, material of the Nanjing massacre now that's pretty much it on that uh but Like I said, no one really knows what fully happened. We have a little bit of uh, stuff that can go out on this massacre. Uh, We have two two different uh, governmental entities, China, Japan, and and technically us, the United States, that uh, because of what happened in Japan after the – surrender and the destruction of most of the documentation that ended up happening and everything it it's hard to say what actually happened during that massacre i mean look at the last part uh 2007 13,000 of uh, the victims were killed uh but and all in all, they're saying going from 200,000 from one government agencies to 300,000. So we don't really have that much. The only thing I do know on this is the fact of it did happen. Views of how bad and how horrible it was, depending on what part of the government you're actually in, China and Japan. Or, and a fun fact, Japan doesn't really uh, – teach much of the world war ii history in japan from what i found out and i found that's from a person that actually lives in japan and i'll revisit that later on uh but all in all it really was a travesty i mean we had a we, we could have kept on going i'm only doing this for an extra 43 minutes and we could have gone two hours on this, but we decided to uh, cut it up into two parts only because of the basic fact of we were mentally drained of all the atrocities we actually had to talk about, which is really sad. Uh, 
it just shows that we are actually more human than most people would think of us. But everybody, thank you for listening. Uh, comments, do whatever you can to promote this show. Uh, we're going to try to do a campaign to promote this a little bit. Maybe do a couple of uh, trailers. We'll see. But love every one of y'all that actually do listen. Great people. I'll talk to you later.